So, good morning to everyone. My name is Vikras Yannikopoulos, and I'm a student in Pierce. Today, I'm going to present you my project with the title Voyager 1 and 2, The Epic Journey of the Human Spirit and the Messages in the Vast Cosmic Sea. So, let's get started with the initial idea for the Voyager mission. The initial idea was born in the mid-1960s with the lead of Gary Flandro, that was an engineer and astronautical scientist. Uh, so, the material of the Voyagers. Voyager spacecraft, both of them, are made from special design materials. Uh, and these materials are chosen for the combination of temperature resistance, radiation shielding, and lightweight properties. Uh, energy source. Uh, Voyagers are used a uh, radius of thermoelectric generation, such as plutonium-238. For example, here we can see a picture of two scientists that they put that energy in Cassini spacecraft. Voyager construction. Voyager has a distance of 3.66 meters and a weigh of 825 kilos. Scientific instruments. Both of Voyagers have the same scientific instrument, such as ultraviolet spectrometer, plasma spectrometer, and cosmic ray system, and more as you can see. Here we can see a picture of all the scientific instruments of Voyager. Protection for sun radiation. A big question for a lot of people is how Voyagers are protected from sun radiation. The answer is very simple. Voyagers are protected by a shield, and this seal is made from material that combine properties such as temperature resistance, radiation resistance, and light wing characteristics. The golden record. In the head of the Voyager, we have the golden record. Uh, there are two, that, and that record contains sounds, music, images, and languages, and, and messages in many languages. Uh, so totally, we can understand that they carry our civilization. The launch of Voyager 1 and 2. Voyager 2 was launched on August 20 in 1977, and Voyager 1 was left after two weeks on September 5 in 1977. How Voyager are communicate with Earth? Voyager are communicate with Earth that because they used an analog transmission of microwave radio signals, digital data consisting of binary dates like 0 and 1, such as computers. These signals are transmitted to Earth via NASA Deep Space Network, or DSN. Now I'm going to show you a video of Voyager images from the Odyssey. Here we can see Europa and one of Jupiter.
let's continue. I think you like that video. So, February 14, 1990. Voyager looked back at Earth at a distance of 3.7 billion miles and took the last picture, the pale blue dot. Let's see it. To talk about the scientific benefits of Voyagers. Uh, Voyager 1, such as 2, gave us a lot of uh, scientific benefits, such as that they explore the outer planets, uh, they discover new moons and future of the planets, uh, examine the magnetosphere of the outer planets, and they offer valuable knowledge about cosmic rays, the composition and the properties of interstellar matter. Here, if we press the first link, uh, we can see the mission status, both of the Voyager. Uh, as we can see, here we can see the mission status, Voyager 1 here and Voyager 2. And if we press the second button, we can see the timeline uh, and all the benefits. Uh, that gave us voyagers, as you can see. So, uh, and now we're going to talk about the development of voyagers. The development of Voyager is interstellar probe that is going to launch around 2030 with 2035. The interstellar probe is expected to travel at a significantly high speed, approximately 100,000 miles per hour. Here we can see a picture of how maybe we will be interstellar. Let's see a video of how Voyager travel. The Nihil. Of human curiosity, courage, and Here hope. we can see dates. When Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 were alive in 1977, they carried with them message from our planet, embodying humanity's desire to connect with the universe. The golden record aboard the spacecraft is a monument to human creativity and ambition. It contains sounds and music from around the world, greetings in many languages, images of life on Earth, and scientific information about our planet. This message in a bottle reflects the unique and multiculturalism of humanity showcasing the diversity and beauty of human species. The Voyager mission, unique to us as a human species, reminds us that we are all passengers on the same space, Earth. This mission represents the eternal quest for knowledge and understanding our desire to explore the unknown and find our place in the universe. The Voyager spacecraft, now the most distant human-made objects, continue to travel through the interstellar space, carrying our messages into unknown realms. They are ambassadors of humanity, points of contact and reminders 
of an era when the human spirit dared to reach beyond the sky. This mission embodies the curiosity, perseverance, and hope that characterize us as a species. It is a living example of what we can achieve when we work together, gazing at the stars and seeking the answer to the internal question. What is out there? So, let's continue. Dr. Samad Krimizis. Uh, I have the opportunity to meet him. It was a lifelong dream come true for me. It was, it was our first encounter and has already become a milestone in my journey. I sincerely thank for the unavailable help and the generous knowledge that you share with me. Kazajakis once said, reach where you cannot. And Professor has reached where no one else has. With his inspiration, I hope to reach as far as he possibly can. Thank you from my bottom of my heart. So, now I'm gonna read you my message to you. As Voyager continues its lonely journey through space, it reflects the journey of the human race. Just like Voyager started its mission to explore, driven by human curiosity and creativity, we too are on our own journey through time, learning, growing and exploring. One day, far in the future, Voyager will go silent, its energy gone, drifting forever in the cold darkness of space. This reminds us that everything in the universe has a beginning and an end. Our lives, our civilizations, even our species, just as Voyager's journey will one day end. So, to rule the story of humanity. But this is not a message of despair. It is a call to action, a reminder of the power we have now. Voyager was a preamp of science and cooperation, showing what we can achieve when we work together. If we, as a global community, embrace science and knowledge, we can shape our future, extending humanity's journey far beyond what we can imagine. Let's invest in science that can heal, innovate, and unite us. Let's protect our fragile planet so it can continue to support life for future generations. While our time is limited, the impact we leave behind can be lasting. The end of Voyager mission will not be a failure, but a celebration of all it has achieved. Likewise, the end of humanity, wherever it may come, should be a testament to the high we reach and the legacy of knowledge, peace we left behind. In the advances of the universe, we are small, but our dreams, our aspirations, and our ability to create and explore make us extraordinary. Voyager mission may end, but the legacy of our species can continue to inspire and guide those who came after us. Let us all remember the pale blue dot photograph taken by Voyager reminder of our place in the universe and how fragile we are. If even one person in this room today decides to put that photograph in their office, in their home, or in their school, it could be a success, a success that will spread everywhere and maybe, just maybe, change our future. If all nations and government place this photograph in their office, our priorities would see. Let us invest in knowledge and the evolution This photograph could be the key to a new beginning, a reminder of our responsibility to the planet and to each other. I want to give many thanks to Dr. Samad Skrimizis, that was my supervisor to all this project, and Dr. Kostadina Dialnas, that gave me a lot of information about the interstellar probe, Cassini, and all these videos that I saw you. Thank you.